Good morning, my name is Caitlin and on today's episode of GSC at Home we are in the garden learning about the Fibonacci sequence, an interesting set of numbers that pops up in ways that might surprise you. So to start off, who is Fibonacci? He was an Italian mathematician that lived around 800 years ago. He's famous for popularising the Indo-Arabic numeral system in the Western world, which are the numbers we use today. He also gives his name to the Fibonacci sequence. This set of numbers was known about long before Fibonacci, hundreds of years ago in India. But the name Fibonacci sequence is how we know it today. So what is the Fibonacci sequence? It's a pattern of numbers where the next in the sequence is determined by adding up the two previous numbers. Let me show you. So if we were to start the sequence with number one, to get to the next number, we have to add this plus the number before it to get to the next number. But there's no number before this one. So at this stage, we'll just do one plus zero. And that gets us one. At this stage, we do one plus one, which means the next number is two. Just like before, one plus two gives us three. Two plus three gives us five. Three plus five is eight. Five plus eight is thirteen. 8 plus 13 is 21 and the pattern continues on like that on and on and on and on this pattern's okay so far but I think we could make it look a lot more interesting I'm going to draw out the pattern to create a really interesting shape so to do this we're going to draw boxes and the length of the side of the box will correspond to the number in the sequence we'll start at 1 In front of box and the length of the box is one square. Next in the sequence is one again so I'll draw another one and now I'll swap colours so that it's clear to see. The next number is two. We have a box with length two boxes high and number three we do a three by three box. Now we're on to five. Next is eight. And now 13. And then the last one, which will be 21. There we go, all of our boxes are ready. Now, if I take a black pen and I join up the diagonal corners in each of these boxes, we'll start to see our spiral form. If you try this at home, don't worry about making the lines too straight. You want it to be curved to really show our spiral.
Here we are. This spiral is an important shape. We can find it a lot in nature. A Scottish scientist called Darcy Thompson found that there were lots of plants that followed the spiral pattern that can be created using the Fibonacci sequence. Using math to understand biology is called mathematical biology. So where can we find the Fibonacci sequence in nature? Let's have a look around our garden to find out. Let's have a look at this plum branch here. We can count along the leaves to find out when we'll find a leaf that grows in the same direction as this one, off to the side. One, two, three, four, five. Five is one of the Fibonacci numbers in the sequence we drew out earlier. These nice purple flowers have five petals on them. If we take a little closer look at some of the buds, you can see that they're growing in groups of two, threes, and fives. Have a look at the spiral pattern on this snail shell. You can see it's very small in the middle and gradually gets bigger and bigger towards the outer edge of the shell. Just like the one we drew earlier. So why does this happen? Well, it's important to know that you won't find the Fibonacci sequence everywhere in nature. Although it may have developed for some plants and living things as a way to make sure that each leaf and each petal gets enough exposure to light and so they can produce as many seeds and space available as possible. So if you head outside to have a look for patterns in nature, be sure to be careful and protect yourself from the sun and of course wash your hands when you come back in. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode of GSC at Home. We hope to see you again very soon. Bye!